Hmm. Ah, fuck, maybe it goes this way. I don't fucking know. Guys, this is why you practice with your stuff. That was almost worth it. Hello outlaws and hello campers. It's Jack. Welcome back to the channel. Or if it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. And if it is your first time here, just hit that subscribe button because it don't cost nothing. So now guys, I'm coming to you from my backyard in the balls of the suburbs of central New York. Uh, this is gonna be my uh, throwaway camp. Um, I'm going to be doing some camping with some gear that I got from Timu, which I will explain in the future of this video, and uh, some gear that I got from Aldi, um, which I will also explain in the future of this video. This chair I'm sitting in, which you uh, watched me struggle to set up at the beginning, um, it's from Adventure Ridge, or as I like to call them, Misadventure Alley. Now as the wind just starts to die down, um, gotta let everybody know it's a Saturday. Uh, we're right in the middle of June and it is a uh, balmy 71 degrees. Um, oh great, there's uh, my little brother Shadow up there barking. Or no, somebody's barking over there. It doesn't matter guys. Shadow's up there, uh, Lacey Potato, new number one camping dog is over there. Um, anyway, this is going to be my throwaway camp, guys. And to sort of explain that, um, I think the best way is to just, maybe you guys remember Harbor Freight, or you have a Harbor Freight, or you still go there. Uh, back in the old days when Harbor Freight first opened up around here, we used to call it like the uh, throwaway tool store. You know, you'd go there to buy a tool, uh, something you're going to use probably two, three times, it's going to break, and then you're just going to throw it away. Um, I don't think that's the case anymore because I've gotten some Harbor Freight stuff that I've had for years, but that's all besides the point. Um, the throwaway camp, I'm going to be using some gear that I got from Aldi, like this chair, which I don't think is actually going to be a throwaway chair because it's pretty quality. Uh, you'll see it more in the upcoming video. And some gear from Timu that is definitely going to be some throwaway gear. But before I just really get into this whole ridiculous misadventure, whatever it's going to turn out to be, I need to have a beer uh, because it's Saturday. I didn't have to work today. It's my day off. Here comes the fucking wind. The wind is my enemy. Uh, Lacey's down here. What's up, Tate? Doing good? Yeah, she's going to do some camping with her brother. And her brother is going to do some drinking with you guys. So now to start this off the right way. Here we go, first of the day, boys. First of the day. I'm gonna drink to my good buddy, Terra Explorations. Mmm. Little Molson Canadian. You never fucking go wrong with Molson Canadian. Can't get any export down here, so, you know. I mean, if all you got is what you got, 
That's all you got. Now, of course, there will be a link to Terra Explorations down in the description. Make sure you check him out. He's one of my YouTube heroes. Give him a like. Give him a subscribe. Watch some of his videos. Let's get this guy fucking going, man. And uh, you know what? Let's get this fucking camping trip going. So what I have here guys is some assorted uh, Aldi's and Timu camping gear. Uh, see a Timu backpack. I got a ridiculous Timu tent. I got Aldi's sleeping bag. Uh, that's a Aldi chair over there. Uh, in here I got, uh, this is a West Dune, but this is a Timu sleeping pad we're gonna try out. Um, I think I might have used it before, but we're definitely going to try it out. I also got me a little uh, Timu grill here. Um, brand new uh, mess kit, which I got from Timu. And, of course, the uh, CLS Outdoor uh, camping stool from Timu, which is probably the best thing that I've gotten from Timu. Uh, if you guys are going to get anything from them, get one of these stools. Uh, the rest of the stuff... It's all pretty questionable. So now, uh, you all guys all know already, um, I got roped into the Timu affiliate program, you know, where they uh, give you like some seating cash uh, to buy like Timu stuff. Um, I'm st this is not gonna be a paid promotion video, uh, even though I am gonna use stuff that I basically got for free. Um, I, I just don't care. Um, I will put my Timu affiliate link down in the description along with like whatever discount code it is that I have. So check the description for that. But as far as this being an actual uh, official Timu video, I'm, I'm not even going to fucking bother because I'm done with these guys. You know, they send me stuff. They're like, hey, you know, we sent you this. Where's our video? I'm like, I, I haven't gotten it yet. Like this tent that I'm going to use, it took me eight weeks to get it. And within two days or like where's our video i have posted other videos i've sent that to them send them the links and stuff they do not get back to me they just they totally ignore me and one thing i am going to do guys uh before i get into this video i'm going to put down in the description a link to my uh, timu affiliate liaison or whatever like mo peterson something like that and if you guys got any free time on your hands, I really encourage you to send him an email, and, or her, I don't even know, it doesn't matter, but send an email to this uh, liaison or whatever and be like, why the fuck are you ignoring uh, Outlaw Camper? You're sending them stuff, I wanna buy stuff, I'd buy it, but I'm not going to because you just totally ignore him and the videos that he posts. Um, but okay guys, uh, that's, that's my rant. Um, let's get going with some camping. Whew, glad I got that out of the way. Now I know that fire should be my number one priority, but it, you know, it's really nice out here, guys. And another reason why I'm doing this camp today, uh, tomorrow, I mean, because today, right now, it's 72 degrees. Tomorrow, it's going to be like 80. And then in the coming week, we are going to be well into the 100s. So it's going to be way too hot to do any camping, to really do anything except maybe jump in the pool. But, so, you know, anyway, what was I saying? I forgot. Totally losing my train of thought here. Uh, I remember. Fire should be your number one priority, but for me, it's going to be shelter. And I got this. Uh, this is a, a Timu tent. It's a quick setup. Uh, it's supposed to be like a pop-up tent. Um... I did open it, of course, because uh, when I got it, you know, the, it was practically already opened. A big rip in the bag of the tent. I don't know where it is. It doesn't matter. Let's see how this fucking thing works. And uh, this is like uh, $20.99 for this thing if you're actually interested in buying it. I don't know, guys. I, I'm really, I'm just so discouraged with the whole Timu affiliate process. Uh, I'm gonna get off this rant. Don't worry guys. Okay, let's set up this tent and let's see if it's fucking even worth trying to sleep in tonight. Just 
what it looks like. Um, this is pretty much how it came. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got four, four shitty pegs. Uh, tent stakes, whatever you want to call them. You know, it depends on your geographic vernacular. So let's unfold this, let's see what happens. Whoa, Jesus Christ, man. You see that? I'm trying to, it's trying to kill me already. Now, I, there are no instructions with this, like most things you get from Timu. But I'm assuming that these little uh, clips here, they pull out, which will allow you to, oh, look at that. You know, guys, actually, oh yeah, here comes the fucking wind again. Every fucking time I try and set something up or do something, the wind's got to come and fuck with me. Fucking nature. Um, but anyway, let's see. This is going to blow away the fucking cocksucker. Okay, before this tent blows away, um, this is pretty much what it is. Uh... I guess I should probably zip it up. I think what I should really do is stake it in with the uh, shitty pegs I got here. Because, man, this thing's going to take off on me. So, yeah. So let's get these uh, pegs out. Um, yeah. Well, these are flimsy as fuck. But if it... This bag is not bad. I could use this for something else. Um, I got to get this thing in the ground. And I'll get it zipped up. I have fucking A, man. Why? The wind. Look at this. Jesus fucking, fucking Christ. Nothing ever works out for me, guys. You should know that. You've been to outlaw camp before. Every time I try and do something, the wind, nature, the whole fucking universe is against me. But you know what? I'm just sick enough to be totally confident. Okay, guys, um, now that the wind's died down, I got the tent, uh, this, this Timu tent up. I got it staked in, which was a fucking nightmare, let me tell you. Um, I have it opened up now, and I can already see... No, I thought that was a hole. It's not a hole. Uh, this, like, the, it does have this little screen here, but the thing is, you have to roll this up and the outside up in order to be able to secure it in any way uh for whatever i said this tent was guys i think like 21 bucks something like that uh this is not something that you guys are going to want to spend any significant amount of time in like and not even a night but for throwaway gear i mean I guess if the wind wasn't blowing, it'd be easier to stake in. You know, something you could throw in your car if you got to do a quick camp or whatever reason. You know, I'd fucking rather take my chances with a $21 hooker than this uh, $21 tent. Oh, fuck. Well, all right. Um, I guess I'm going to get the rest of my sleep system set up here uh, just so I can keep moving on. And... Uh, Hopefully get to do some camping. I'm really not looking forward to spending the night in that thing. And it looks ridiculously small, but hopefully I'll be able to fit in it at least. I don't fucking know. Okay, here's what's uh, probably going to be uh, Timu bullshit number two. I just, with the tent, I'm, I'm somewhat less than confident about the Westoon sleeping pad. I really feel like I used this before in some video. I don't know, maybe I, I think I did. Maybe I just never posted it. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Let's see what we got here, guys. Well, it's green. Um, the bag, I'm gonna, gonna already I got bugs in the fucking tent. Luckily I have a thermosel up there. Um, so let's see if I can get this thing going. Well, it's, sizable so um already i think you can see that this <laughs> sleeping pad here is bigger than the tent so that's going to be interesting uh, and this thing has a pillow in it oh look at this here's a little velcro strap throw that there um supposedly this thing um you know 
And I gotta tell you, like most Timu stuff, does not come with any instructions. Supposedly you're able to like pump it like this to fill it up. So I'm gonna see if I can do that. Um, I'm not gonna make you guys watch that whole thing, but I will let you know whether or not it works. And I'm also not gonna make you sit through me trying to figure out how it works because I don't have any fucking instructions. I believe after some cursory, look at the wind blowing this fucking tent down. God damn it. Anyway, I believe after some cursory internet research uh, that this is how this is supposed to work. It's not, it's not doing anything. I think this is something I'm going to have to blow up uh, with my mouth. Great. Just when I need something to get me more lightheaded than just the normal frustration of attempting to do an outlaw camp. Maybe this is supposed to be closed. I don't, I don't know. I don't think that makes a difference. Yeah. All right. Timu, you fucking failed me again. It's okay, guys. Uh, I had to blow it up. Um, for whoever's counting, it took 50 brats to blow this up. Um, I also realized this has a pillow. Um, I don't like to sleep with pillows, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I think the tent's sort of at this kind of angle, so I'll probably put my head over here. I don't know. Um, hey, you know what? It fits in there good enough. Yeah, so that, well, yeah. So that's it, guys. I'm going to lay on it. I'm going to see how the orientation is. Well, I'll tell you one thing, even though it barely fits in this tent, it's going to be better than sleeping on the ground. It's actually, it, it is kind of comfortable, guys. And this tent is a little roomier than I thought. I just, I don't know, man. With the, the way you guys saw how it was acting in the wind. Uh, hopefully it's not going to rain tonight. I mean, it's not supposed to rain today. But, okay. So I got my uh, sleeping pad out here. Uh, up there, I got a Guatemalan blanket I'm going to throw over this. And then I'm going to get my sleeping bag out. And, I don't know. Fuck it, man. I'll see what's next. Oh, well, yeah. As this bug flies out. Uh, I got the old Westoon sleeping pad here. Just covered up with this uh, Guatemalan blanket. Uh, that I got in New Hampshire many, many years ago. Um, this is just in case my dog comes out and she decides to sleep out here with me. I don't want her like tearing up the all these sleeping pad, even though it's a throwaway sleeping pad. And that thing, um, I don't even know if I mentioned it, but it's gonna run you like 17 bucks, $16.89, something like that. Um, anyway, I wanna get my sleeping bag in here so I can get moving on. Um, and like I said, I'm using some Aldi's gear. So from Adventure Ridge, or as I like to call it, Misadventure Alley. Uh, this is just a warm weather sleeping bag. Um, it's supposed to be good to like 50 degrees, but I think tonight, you know, it's supposed to get down to like 40. It's probably gonna be like, it's definitely gonna get below freezing, which is fucked because then it's gonna be in the hundreds all next week. But that's what it's like here in central New York. Um, obviously, I've used this bag before. This is tearing up here. Um, I really wanted to get like a sleeping bag from Aldi's. I mean, not from Aldi's. I wanted to get a sleeping bag from uh, Timu. But uh, I ran out of, you know, uh, seed cash. Which is why you guys need to get a hold of my Aldi's liaison. Or my Aldi's liaison. Jesus fucking Christ. What is wrong with me? Can you guys see how fucking frustrated I am? This is why you need to get a hold of my Timu liaison, uh, Mo Peterson, and be like, hey, you know, get on, uh, get an outlaw camper stuff. But all right, let's get the uh, sleeping bag in there so I can do something more palatable, like uh, have another beer and eat some food. Hey, uh, Adventure Ridge, man, you know, my original misadventure alley sleeping bag i've had for 
Well, probably like 10 years now. And I love it, guys. And this one, it ain't that bad. Uh, it does not have a hood on it, as you can probably see. Uh, I don't need a hood, um, but that's it. There's my uh, sleep system, guys. I think I'm going to zip up the old tent here and get a beer. And then we're probably going to get a fire going. I got to eat something. I mean, it's, man, it's like 20 minutes until 2. Uh, temperature is still holding steady at about 74 degrees. It's probably about as hot as it's going to get today. I don't know what, I, I don't even want to know what it is up there. It's probably like 90. We'll find out when I go get another beer. Well, all right, guys, as the wind continues to come in from the, well, let me see, north, south, from the west, which means it's blowing that way. Um, I'm getting closer to getting the fire started. It's uh, 2.30 right now, and it's 75 degrees. I uh, made this crude uh, fire pit here from just some cinder block slabs that have been laying around. I got some uh, kindling. I got this pallet wood, some old Stewart's firewood. Uh, I'm going to process some of this up uh, just so I can get a fire going. I don't think I'm going to be cooking on it, so I really don't think the uh, nasty pallet wood and all that shit is going to make a difference. I just, yeah, there's my dog barking again. Jesus fucking Christ. Is he okay up there? Yeah. Hey, there's a girlfriend. Yeah, she's wearing her bathrobe at 2.30 in the afternoon. Am I complaining? Definitely not. Well, I uh, used the old Saker mini chainsaw to process up some of this wood. I'll be batoning it later. Um, so we're getting like 25 mile per hour gusts coming in out of the west. The wind. Um, so I'm not really, I mean, I know I can get a fire started. That's not the thing. I just don't know how much is going to blow up there. I mean, it won't be blowing on my shit tent, so I guess I don't need to worry about that. Um, I just kind of been, you know, drinking a PBR here. And I'm having some jerky, guys. Yeah, man. Look at this. It's got to be a bag of jerky. Uh, this is just uh, eye round. Got to kind of slice up. I uh, marinated it for probably three or four days in some Aldi's uh, yeah Aldi's it all goes back to Aldi's Miss Adventure Alley um, orange stir-fry sauce and it actually turned out pretty good I don't know if you can see this but it really don't matter so uh, if you guys you know if you want to see like a jerky video like how I make my jerky I make a lot of fucking jerky. Um, put that down in the comments, you know? Let me know. I'll show you guys how I make jerky. Maybe I'll do a contest and send somebody some jerky. But I'll tell you that all these orange uh, stir fry sauce, the eye round, worked out pretty good. Well, Guys, I'll tell you, with this wind, I really don't know how much I'm gonna get done. I mean, we all know the wind, it is my enemy. Um, it's, yeah, we're, we're about 20 miles per hour now, coming out of the west. Uh, we're getting gusts up to 40 miles per hour right now. Uh, you can see, you know, the tent, well, whatever, man. I'm sleeping in it tonight. I, I, I give no fucks. Uh, the Aldi share seems to be okay, even though it keeps blowing over. Um, I do have some stuff ready for a fire. And uh, I think that's what I'm going to be doing in the next episode of this throwaway camp uh, series. So, I just want to say uh, thank you for joining me. Thanks for making it this far. Thanks for watching me set up this ridiculous Timu tent. 
uh, the awesome Aldi share, the uh, awesome uh, Timu fucking whatever stool. I got more gear out here. I got some more Timu stuff. I got just, I, I it's, yeah, man. I don't know. It's going to be ridiculous, whatever it is. But in the interest of just trying to keep my episodes shorter, which, you know, I think a lot of people enjoy, I'm just going to cut this one off here. So, until the next time, guys, when I will be back with cold beer, um, I mean, there's never, ever any extradition. And expatriates are always welcome. So, really, guys, just, you know, tell your friends and tell your enemies because this is fucking outlaw camp. And we are going to do some more fucking camping in a stupid tent uh, with stupid gear. So, I don't know, guys. I'll see you in the next one.